Hello YouTubers, um, this is another review um, for Android devices, um, this is particularly the Samsung Galaxy S2. I'm just going to be showing you one of my favourite apps um, on this phone. So, it is an antivirus called Avast. So I'll just click into the Avast. Um, it does ask you for the um, password, so I'll just enter that. Okay. Now, I did have many other different antiviruses, but I found them all to prove useless. Um, Any time that I had any other type of antivirus and I've uh, installed this, it, the other antiviruses would not pick up a virus or malware, and Avast always did. So I've decided to keep this one, um, automatically updates and everything, um, really really great program, you can scan automatically or um, uh, scan it yourself, you've got your privacy advisor which tells you all the different apps, um, what they can access and track, so um, for example you've got 10 apps that can track your location, 22 that can read your identity info, and so on. Um, got many other different um, uh, settings there. You do have Web Shield, so um, even if you're not going to be using Firefox or um, a safe internet browser, this would be covering you as well. Um, every time that you install an application, it does get scanned by a vast um, telling you if it's secure or not. Then, if it's okay, it would install it. Okay. You also have a function that I really like, which is the SMS and call filter. Um, basically, what you can do is um, uh, you can just you can set. So let's see, create a new group. Okay. Um, what you can do is you can block incoming SMS and calls on different days of the week or on all of them if you want. Certain times and you can even add the group members. Now, by adding group num uh, members, you can either enter a number, choose from your contact list, um, put a custom number in, or you can choose all hidden numbers, so anything that comes up with an unknown number, which um, won't show the number, or all unknown numbers. So if there's a, a number that's not saved in your contacts list, then it will actually stop that from coming through and what happens is when when that when those kind of callers call through they would just hear a busy tone on your phone however once you um, every day or so if you'd like to check you can just go into log and it will tell you all the calls that have come through and been rejected um, that way you don't need to disconnect on them you don't need to receive messages you can just check and say oh that person has called me um, I'll call him back or I won't or but it will give you a log of all the calls um, that it did not let get through. But your phone won't ring, it won't do anything. Okay. Um, apart from that, you got your firewall, um, also anti-theft, which I've tried out, really, really good. Um, send commands from a friend's phone um, or somebody else's phone to either lock your phone, <coughs> um, to wipe it, and also to track it. So once you send a certain message with your passcode, uh, your password to your phone, it will actually send a signal back um, saying exactly where the phone is. And when we tried when we tried that, um, the phone gave us the location, which was about I'd say four, um, four to six meters away from its real location. So that was really um, quite quite spot on. But that's um, that's all for the Avast. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I'll have been I'll have more um, posted on the channel very soon. Thank you very much.